fall, something that could cripple markets and the economy into a tailspin and shake global confidence in the U.S. The measure now moved to the House, where a vote could come soon, sending it to President Joe Biden's desk. Meanwhile, in a video released Tuesday, President Biden spoke directly to the families of those killed at St. Luke Elementary School nine years ago, saying the nation owes families of mass shootings more than our prayers, pretending we owe them action. Biden said it was one of the saddest days he and former President Barack Obama had in office, and after Sandy Hook, they found hope in the strength of the families, feeling they could pass meaningful reform, but it came up short. He violated no law. He was legalistically absolutely correct, but it was a bonehead idea. But a mass-scale executive action like that is bound to face major legal challenges, and the White House isn't ready yet to put pen to paper. There have been questions and asks about what executive authorities could be used. That has been under review. I don't have anything to report on that at this point in time. So for now, the administration is moving forward and preparing for those payments to resume. In the meantime, Senator Elizabeth Warren tells Fox Democrats continue to talk with the president. On Capitol Hill, I'm Aisha Hasni, Fox News. The Buckhead home getting negative reviews from neighbors. Violated no law. He was legalistically absolutely correct, but it was a bonehead idea. This version of the streetcar. Some SEC fans discovered it and for a buck hopped on to get over to the stadium during championship weekend. It looks interesting. Never in the streetcar? No, but I want to. I just don't know, like, how. The streetcar can do for an image makeover, or better to say, an image expansion from a narrow draw of riders. The streetcar is very um, tourist-driven, especially with the King Historic uh, Center and around the COP area with the aquarium and Ferris wheel and everything like that. So those are our customers. Lawrence Graham is with MARTA. Federal dollars got the streetcar started, but there is an ongoing sales tax being collected to keep it going and even expand it. Right now, approximately 4,000 patrons opt to use it every week. If you tried it one time a long time ago and found it unpleasant, there have been some changes. For example, there are no more free rides. I don't think that was uh, the, the right move to do just because um, we would just have uh, homeless people on the streetcars, and we, did, we definitely didn't want that. What is the investment going forward? $225 million to make it more than a downtown tourist novelty and extend it and integrate it into the overall MARTA grid, eventually carrying riders to the Beltline and Pont City Market. Is there some rebranding that you all may need to do in terms of letting people know what's happening with the streetcar that's available? Um, I, I, I believe um, there should be some rebranding, especially with um, the college students, especially uh, with Georgia State right around the corner. So where will the streetcar be under MARTA's leadership in five years from now? Well, they hope that that expansion to the east side will be well under construction. He violated no law. He was legalistically absolutely correct, but it was a bonehead idea. In guilt in this case, and they're staying quiet on their guilt or innocence. And the court doesn't have to accept that plea, but it did in this case. However, the court accepted the plea, but added some uh, conditions. This is not a, a big win for these neighbors at all. That from an outside attorney not involved in this case. As for Mr. Popovich's attorney, Ryan Williams says his client is a good citizen who just happens to know a lot of people. There's so much crime going on in the city of Atlanta right now. I think the resources of the news and the resources of APD is better served by going out and actually stopping some of the crime that's occurring across the street. <laughs> Now, look at what happened 35 days after the judge's order was signed. A party with a college-style band out in the front yard of the same home the Buckhead neighbors cannot be satisfied. But so-called party houses are not simply a problem for Buckhead. Carla Smith represents the Grant Park community. I had gone in my pajamas one night to a um, party and the police broke it up like at 3 o'clock in the morning. So I don't like the party houses either. Miss Smith, certainly a hands-on city council member is going to knock on that door at 3 o'clock in the morning. 
As for Mr. Popovich, Mr. Williams tells me his client is misunderstood. He says there's no money changing hands. He's not renting out these places. He just knows a lot of people, and he happens to have parties there, some of them high profile. Uh, he said, in essence, if the neighbors would just try to understand Mr. Popovich, they could possibly help him actually sell the property. He wants to sell the property. It's difficult, though, with all these complaints. From Northeast Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News. He violated no law. He was legalistically absolutely correct, but it was a bonehead idea. Is he out of touch because he's so rich and protected? I mean, this he's a very yeah. he's a very smart guy, and this seems so basic. Right? I, I'm I'm really he violated no law. He was legalistically absolutely correct, but it was a bonehead idea. Hit software that handles scheduling and attendance. Right now, Kronos is recommending its clients look into alternatives for workforce management while it navigates the situation. Some of the high-profile clients include Tesla, Puma, and the YMCA. Two years violated no law. He was legalistically absolutely correct, but it was a bonehead idea. Alan Shepard's Mercury flight from Cape Canaveral on May 5th in 1961. His eldest daughter, Laura Shepard Churchley, brought with her a tiny piece of his Freedom 7 capsule, as well as mementos from his Apollo 14 moonshot. She also packed some golf balls, as her dad once hit a couple on... ...violated no law. He was legalistically absolutely correct, but it was a bonehead idea. Maybe just a little jot to jot. Does anybody remember red buttons and slim pickings? They swallowed these round flat batteries have the potential to burn a hole in a child's stomach or intestines. And if a bike, scooter, or hoverboard is on your child's wish list, be sure you pair it with a helmet. According to the CPSC, it's also a good practice to check that a toy has not been banned or recalled before buying it. Thank you. Bob being a good boy. Really? Me too. But let's let's see what does this say about Gordon. Uh, okay. <laughs> We haven't got all night. <laughs> There's a note about your swearing. Right. You're just a little bit of potty mouth. There's one program, the Elves County, there was 52 swear words. In 60 minutes? Yes. That's nearly a f per minute. Are you sure? He's never wrong. I think I can trust the Elves. I'm sorry. He violated no law. He was legalistically absolutely correct. But it was a bonehead idea. 900 pounds of marijuana in the U-Haul. Police say the street value was about $3 million. Douglasville police are looking for two people who they say entered Crestmark Apartments on December 8th. Authorities said the thieves filled garbage bags with packages from the apartment's mailroom. If you recognize the individual shown on your screen there, police ask that you contact them. Our criminals tend to... Correct, but it was a bonehead idea. Uh, becomes accustomed to, to people. It can be a dangerous situation, um, whether they're physically um, attacking people or just or, or um, just from a, a health standpoint. DNR recommended a managed hunt. Cherokee County set up three days of bow hunting. The first is this Sunday for youth and disabled hunters only. Interested hunters could register for a lottery to take part in it. I feel bad about deer getting killed. Um, however, I understand that for the health of the deer, that needs to be done. Meredith Vance and Julie Fraze often run here. They typically see deer along the trails. They've been talking about the upcoming hunt and know something needs to be done. I was shocked. Well, I guess I should have expected it. But uh, to find out I didn't have cancer cost uh, $15,000. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy.